I'm so excited about this. <laughs> So if I had to point to one bass player who I thought was the outlier of all outliers in terms of like jazz and improvisation on the electric bass, the one person that's influenced more people over the last two decades than anybody else, I'd point to Hadrian Faro because this guy is an absolute monster in every sense of the word. And in today's video, you're going to be going behind the scenes and hanging out with the man himself, Hadrian, and he's going to be showing you all of his bases. What could be cooler than that? So with that said, Hadrian, take it away. So this bass, this is my second signature bass with uh, Ken Smith. Yeah, that's a uh, Ken Smith. Did you see that? And, it, you know, I put my name on it. This bass is really cool. It looks good. Look at this. It's, it's been in a few videos that you may have seen back when, you know, some videos actually that went viral, believe it or not, but the, you know, 2010 viral. <laughs> I don't know how it translates nowadays. I also recorded most of my second album with it, born in the 80s. Uh, you know, all that... Uh... Time for my feature. That's what I added to this model. The burner model originally didn't have this one and it looked like that way. Here you go. Look, like before Hadrian, during Hadrian. So because I'm still here. You are being a bass player now. All that fancy shit. Okay. And then the leader of the band say when you're with Sting because sometimes you play with Sting you know you can play with him sometimes you know and then he points at you and like solo yeah guess what most bass player they're gonna just solo and be like uh here's what here's here's how I appear now with my feature uh, yeah, because you you know, if you're gonna roll that button, you also gotta have the, your playing matching with it. And this is something that the, the old farts are not gonna like, but whether you like it or not, now you're being completely lyrical. You might want to work on it first with your modes first, especially if you, you're the bass player in Sting's band, matter of fact. But at least every note that you play was actually heard and then you get fired does it make sense <laughs> hi i'm hadrian oh i already said that this is the third model of the signature series um ken smith burner and this one now is i think i believe the first maple neck for those, actually this, the entire Ken Smith history thing, I believe. I was trying to be different once again, um, thought it would be cool and sure enough, it was cool. Um, because it looks good, it sounds good, and it's, it, it, it is good. So you got the volume, you know, the balance, bass, and treble, and then I just added this one. And then now, it also has the passive feature for when you're like me and you forget to put batteries in your bass most of the time. But also, in some rooms, it actually cut through better. Thank you. 
Mainly with this bass, if I use a Ken Smith to record this one, it records really good. Another one that I have in France too, that's a Seafoam Green, which you guys may have seen if you know me and you like my stuff only. I don't always do. It has that warmth that's almost reminiscent of the P bass. And uh, I use it mainly for actually either like straight ahead or groove oriented or even you know hip hop or actually i used it in some americana or country stuff you know It has that it has that P bass thing in it more than the other basses that we're gonna next So, now this one, we continued with the maple neck. This is the fourth signature model. B flat, that's amazing. Oh my God. Oh, I like it. There you go. Never mind. Passive. Bowls, no bowls, no bowls. Bowls, whatever. This is gonna be the low end, same thing. Really predictable, huh? Oh, by the way, that's wood also. So that's, so that way, I mean, when you turn your knob, you feel more fabulous. By the way, did you see this? Did you see? Those are pretty cool, huh? Oop. Uh, LK straps, ladies and gents. So if you want to check the guys that does those things, beautiful things, I, I could dress only with this, by the way. This is amazing. Mm. So now this bass is a unique model. This is the prototype of my first signature with me on uh, It's a jazz bass, as you can see. And actually, that was me asking for the, you know, my uh, personal specs, <laughs> as you can tell. It's got the 70 spacing, as you can see. This is why I added the rim here, so I can't keep, you know, with the technique um, that you know, if you know my stuff. Did I say that? And it's got the same exact setup as my Ken Smith, matter of fact, because everything is built upon that maple fingerboard. Um, what else? Pretty light too. And it sounds dirty. I like it, you know, all that kind of stuff. Really 
dirty, you know. Um, and, uh, and I have used it for some rock. Did you know I play rock, by the way? You probably didn't know that. I think I'm gonna get laid. Oh no, wait. False alarm. So here it is, the first signature with me on us uh, that I did uh, as a jazz bass, uh, you know, model. And this time around, I changed it into the 60s spacing here, you know, in order to have a different bass still. Um, so as you can see, same thing is happening. There's a setting with options here that are the same exact volume, balance, low end, uh, highs and mids. Same thing is happening, it's amazing, it's wow. And it sounds really good too. Whether it is straight ahead or straight up like pop sessions and stuff like that, it fits everything. That has my signature here that I, I you know, Hadrian, as if I was kind of like fabulous enough to just be called Hadrian and then you, you would know who I am right away. I'm very popular in my hometown, by the way, in my living room with my parents. They call me Hadrian when they call me. <laughs> Je leur fais, je leur fais, parce que là, je suis trop fancy. Je suis trop fancy. Je suis trop fancy. Attends. So here it is now. Okay. <laughs> 